Now with the river brush we're going to now turn it upside down, start at the tip of the snow and work up, lifting it, lifting it off the paper as we go up. Like we've done before, pick up a bit more. These trees can be a bit more moisture in that one I think. These trees can be as large or as small as you want. So I'm just going to do a few little ones, nothing too dramatic. I can't know what I put on there now. <laughs> there you go. Dust fly, you're not entitled to be there. Let's do a few quick ones. I might do one that's a slightly little darker tone just here, a more dominant one, a bigger one. So, I'll put another branch out here. Okay, let's take a look at the one there. Yeah. more branches. I'm trimming them quite quickly now, and you can take a bit more time than this. I'm only doing them so quickly so that you get to see it action. A few more little twigs. And that's one side of it done. Now we can also put in a few little trees like this, but I think for the moment we'll just keep it simple and just put in the, these little twigs. I'm going to put an extra colour in here just to make a bit more interest. Uh, that will do actually, I think. Maybe, I think. Maybe a little bit yellow as well. And then you do, you do a shadow, don't you? That's yes, that's the last thing we do, the shadow. This is just this first. We do the shadow afterwards. Now, if you wanted to put some on the other side as well, of course you can do. And then you can add a few more. But I'm going to put these on of, uh, not as dominant as this tree. So it's just little twiggy bits of stuff. It's nothing too, too dominant. A few little twigs. And a couple of other colours. Okay, something like that will be fine. And then we'll put a couple of people in there later on in the shadows. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah.